So in example one, we're just working through four quite basic chords with a drop D. But the important thing is that we're rolling our fingers. So we're sort of shifting our wrist out as we play, rather than just picking normally or even strumming normally, we're sort of slurring our picking, so rolling our fingers. To create a more interesting sound. Now in later exercises we'll start using this technique in lead playing as well. But the four chords are particularly easy really. We've got a D chord with a drop D in the bass. This three fingered chord up here, just in a diagonal line. Then with an A in the bass, three fingers, and then kind of a D shape but shifted up strings, and then just a bar across seven. So in example two, we're now adding a bit more of a, a picking pattern around our sort of rolling or arpeggio technique and just throwing in a string slap as well. So a simple pattern of playing the chord in that arpeggio finger roll way and then a bass note, a treble note, a string slap by turning your wrist in, a treble note and then a bass note. We play that across all four chords. Okay, so now we're into example three, and this is going to be using our sort of arpeggioing technique in our lead playing. So we've already got our uh, patterns from examples one and two. Now I've added in a lead line in between each chord. The first one should go something like this. So we're using these finger rolls to bring emphasis to the first note, bring a bit of percussion in too, and give a kind of fluidity to things. So using exactly the same technique that you did to make your, your finger rolls on the open chords, we're now playing thumb, finger, finger, and then finger to play the note, we're using our first finger on our left hand to mute the strings so that we can really dig in and get a percussive and then the note. And when you play that smoothly by turning your wrist out, we get almost like a pick raking sort of sound. The second lick is a little bit simpler, just working on one string. So I'm sort of holding that note with my third finger, but then using my first to mute. And then the third lick, we're actually using a chord shape again, this shape here, seven, 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 sorry, seven, seven, five. And we're raking up there. And then we, little finger goes on to 10, using our first finger to mute. We rake through to get emphasis to that note and then work our way back down. 